So when we talk about the internet, there's a couple of pieces of terminology that I want to get straight right away. There's three different words we're going to cover here. Internet, network, and intranet, which is a word that isn't as related to what we're talking about, but sort of mixes in with the other two and can be a little bit confusing. So on one hand, we have computer networks. Those computer networks consist of computers that are physically connected together. And the, so that might beg the question, what is the internet? So, and why would we use these two terms uh, at all? Why not just, the internet is a computer network, but why would we still refer to computer networks separately? And so, the, the, the key distinction here is that when we talk about a single computer network, we're really talking about usually administrative and, and control and maintenance of a particular network that is part of the broader internet. So for example, in this building, on this campus, is the UB computer network. That's a network that's uh, administered, installed, maintained, and to some degree, well I shouldn't say to some degree, entirely funded by the University of Buffalo. So they're paying for the installation of the computer network, the maintenance of the computer network, and that computer network is, is sort of owned by them. So, you know, here's, for example, you know, UB's network, campus network. And, you know, down, uh, downtown there might be another, uh, there are other campus networks for the other universities in the area. Canisius probably has its own campus network. And these are examples of different computer networks. Okay? Now, when we talk about the internet, the word internet is actually short for internetwork. So it's a connection of different networks. The internet came about partially because there were existing computer networks and people wanted agreements about how those computer networks could connect to each other and build a much larger network that could exchange data. And so UB's campus network is part of a broader internet. It is connected to other networks that are administered by other entities, and those networks connected together, connected together, connected to each other, form you know, the broader internet, right? So the internet consists of all these uh, computer networks. UB might have one. You know, Buff State has their own network. I'm not sure these are directly connected together, but when you think about all the different networks that are run by different companies, different organizations, all connected together across the world, this makes up the broader internet or the broader internetwork. So when we talk about the internet, we're talking about something that's much bigger than any organization, much bigger than any country. It's a agreement, it's a global cooperative of networks that have decided it would be better if we all connected together so that we could exchange data with each other and we could bring you know, billions of people online into the same computer network system. When we talk about a computer network, on the other hand, we're usually talking about a network that belongs to it is maintained by a single organization or a single entity. The final word that mixes in a little bit here is intranet. And this word is probably the least interesting from our perspective. Because what an intranet really uh, refers to is the fact that when uh, organizations connect their computer networks together to the broader internet, they don't necessarily expose all of the information or all of the resources that are present within their own private computer network. So UB might say, for example, I agree to be part of the broader internet because it's super useful for computers that are connected to my network to exchange data with all the other computers on the internet. However, I have some private internal websites that are for faculty or staff use that are not appropriate to expose to the broader internet. And those resources, and th that, those resources can be computers, those resources can be data, those resources can be various services, make up uh, what is called an intranet. So intranet refers to the fact that unless you are physically connected to a particular computer network, there are certain resources that may not be available to you. So three terms, intranet, not necessarily super related to what we're doing, um, internetwork or internet, a network of computer networks that agree to exchange data in common ways, and a computer network referring to a single computer network, computers that are physically usually connected together, uh, operated and maintained by a single organization or entity.